talking the intrinsic motivation of knowledge workers, we used to think, and the the previous, if you like, economic thinking was that is all about uh, we need incentives and we reward people. So we give people incentives and they do it and then get reward for it and they 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 will do more of it. So if you want somebody to deliver more uh, software or do better design, you just pay them more. You know, give them an incentive, a, a, a if you like, innovation bonus or a productivity bonus, and they do it. Now, this has been proven to be the wrong way to think about stuff because when there is, when we are talking about knowledge work and where think people, there is a bit of thinking involved, that way of working and behaving, the behaviors are not aligned to pain for people. So we now need to think about other ways to, that people do the work because they want to do it. So there is a purpose to it. And because of that purpose, then they want to do more of it to get better at it, achieve that mastery. And they need to have some autonomy. In other words, they need to be able to decide where, what they do, where they work on. Nobody will have absolute autonomy. Autonomy is within always within some boundaries, but within, um, within the, a reasonable boundary that is not so narrow that you cannot move, like you've got your hands tight, but there is enough flexibility for you to try what you want to work on. And that's what we, that's what that principle is all about. And there's lots of research, Dan Pink has done it, and others people have, other people have done it to see when we pay people to do more work, that doesn't work when you're in knowledge work. And we want to stop doing that and provide the um the purpose, the mastery and autonomy for people to then grow. Uh, 